Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here. Uh, and in today's video, going to be talking through a couple of my favorite plays on prospects for today's slate for Tuesday, May the 3rd. We do have, once again, uh, two games on Tuesday. We got Boston and Milwaukee, uh, game two of that series, and then we have game two of Golden State and Memphis. So uh, we'll talk through three props I like for today. I was able to find three props that did stand out, you know, taking a first look at the board on Monday night. We'll talk through these three plays, share why I like them. Before we do, uh, we can recap Monday's plays and Monday... Unfortunately, it was not a great day. Um, I don't know why it is, but every time that I have a good day, like if I get a clean sweep like we did on Sunday, I just always do bad the next day. I don't know why it is. It happens every single time. Um, but yeah, it was not a good day Monday. We only went one and two on the three plays you know, that we gave out Monday. We did hit the over Tobias Harris, 16 and a half points. That one wasn't much of a sweat. Tobias Harris, he was one of the one of the few bright spots for Philly. He played pretty well, had 27 points. But the two that did not hit were James Harden's PRA and Chris Paul's PRA, both overs. Uh, James Harden, you know, that was one that maybe I made a mistake on. Uh, James Harden did really struggle. He only shot 5 for 13, 2 for 7 from 3. Uh, he only played 34 minutes. He did lose out on about 4 or 5 minutes due to blowout. But even if he plays like those 5, 6 minutes or whatever, he probably still doesn't get there. But he finished with 16 points, 9 rebounds, and 5 assists. You know, that was one that maybe I mistakenly took. Um, you know, the matchup obviously was tough, and I understood that, but I really thought the usage for Harden was just going to be, you know, really high. I thought he was going to have to take a ton of shots, and he just wasn't as aggressive offensively as I thought he would have been. So that one, unfortunately, did, you know, did not hit. I know a lot of people in the comment section of yesterday's video were kind of disagreeing with me on the Harden play. So, I admit, you know, hopefully you guys, you, you took the under there. But then the Chris Paul one, this is one that I don't regret at all. I thought the, the Chris Paul 30 and a half PRA, I would take that again. But Chris Paul, for some reason, played just 28 minutes on Monday night. I have no idea why. Um, the game was not a blowout. It was a close game. He wasn't in foul trouble. He wasn't injured, or at least it wasn't reported that he was injured. He just played 28 minutes out of nowhere. I mean, John Drayton played 33. Booker played 38. Bridges played 42. Crowder was in foul trouble, played 28. Chris Paul, no foul trouble, nothing, just plays 28 minutes. I, I don't know why. Um, he only played like 13 minutes in the first half. He played seven minutes in the first quarter, and then he played like six minutes in the third or in the second quarter, and that was like his first half rotation. Just really odd because in that in that Pelican series, he was playing, you know, 35, 36 minutes every single night. And, you know, game one of this series, Chris Paul just plays 28 minutes. I don't know if that was their if that if that was their game plan to to limit him a little bit. Um I have no idea. But Chris Paul finished with 19 points, five rebounds and three assists and only in only 28 minutes, finished, you know, four points rebound assist short. I would have took it again um, if I knew he was going to play full minutes. If you told me, if you told me before the game started that Chris Paul's only playing 28 minutes, then yeah, I wouldn't have took it. But I had no idea Chris Paul was only going to play 28 minutes. I just, I wasn't, you know, wasn't aware of that. I don't, I don't know if that was their game plan to limit him. But in the, you know, Pelican series, Chris Paul was playing 36, 37 minutes every single night. So, his minutes got cut short just for some odd reason. Don't know why, uh, but he came up short of his PRA. So again, we only went we only went one and two on Monday's plays, but I have three plays I like for today. We're going to talk through these three plays, and hopefully today can be a better day for us. Hopefully we can get a clean sweep today. Uh, just before we do talk through the plays I like for today, make sure you guys hit that like button down below. I do always appreciate the likes. If you're new to the channel, you have not yet, click that subscribe button as well. Um, I do plan on uploading these prospects videos every single day. Um, as long as we have, you know, at least one or two games on, um, I'm going to you know make a video for NBA. And I, I said it in yesterday's video, you guys seem pretty interested. I do plan on making uh, MLB prospects videos after the NBA season ends. So after the finals is over, maybe I'll take a day or two, you know, to just kind of recuperate but then you know later we'll start to you know dabble into MLB get some MLB, uh, MLB content up until football starts and you know early or late in the summer but yeah guys let's talk through uh, the three plays I like for today we're going to start off with the PRA category so this is a prop that I took on Sunday and it you know came through for us and I like it once again for today I'm taking over 30 and a half points rebound assists for Drew Holiday so Drew Holiday his PR line uh, PRA line last game was set at 29 and a half and he finished with 39 he had a really good game uh, I think he had like um, 25 points, nine rebounds, and five assists, if I remember correctly, or something similar to that. I'll pull up the, uh, I'll pull up the game log in my other monitor just to confirm. Yeah, yeah, 25 points, nine rebounds, five assists. So, you know, finished with with 39 points or about assists. His usage was really good last game. He took 20 shots. Um, he played 36 minutes. He actually did get into some early foul trouble. He actually did pick up two fouls pretty early in the game and lost, uh, you know, three or four extra minutes because of that. So maybe if that doesn't happen, Drew plays like 40 minutes last game. Uh, but he played 36. He was really productive in that time. And I said, I've basically been saying it like every video. I've been on Drew 
his PRA a lot. I was on his PRA a lot in that Chicago series, and he came up short in a lot of games because some you know some of those games were blowouts. Last game he came through for us, it was a clo- you know fairly close game. He you know played close to his full minutes. Obviously, you know this this is a series that should be close. Every night should be a close game. I know Milwaukee won by 12 last game, and you know towards the end of the game the starters did get pulled, but. I would expect pretty much every night in this series, you're going to see the starters play their full minutes. Um, and we know when Drew plays like 38, 40 minutes, especially without Middleton, the upside is there. And we saw him you know, put up a big game last game. He gets a big bump in usage when you take Middleton off the floor. And this is something I've kind of been hammering home lately. 4.9% bump in usage for Drew Holiday this season without Middleton on the floor. Second highest uh, usage rate on the team, averaging over 23 points, uh, eight assists, and four and a half rebounds per 36. So he's averaging you know, right, uh, right around 36, 37 points rebounds assists per 36 without Middleton on the floor this season. You can take a look at the usage in the playoffs, you know, outside of the outside of the 20 minutes in garbage time that Serge Ibaka has gotten, you know, Giannis has the highest usage rate on the team, 33.9%. Drew is second, you know, with a 25.7% um, usage rate. So usage has been good for Drew. Shot attempts were really good last game. He took 20 shots. We know he's always going to be able to grab some rebounds. He can facilitate as well. He was averaging seven assists, four and a half rebounds um, this season. Um, so you're probably going to get, you know, 10, 11, 12 rebounds plus assists for Drew. We know he can score, you know, easily probably 20 points. If you wanted to take his points prop, I think that's fine. But because Drew can contribute in all categories, because he can score, rebound, and get assists, I like PRA the most. And I think, you know, with Drew playing huge minutes every night, with the role he has without Middleton, with the bump he gets in usage, 30 and a half PRA does still feel too low for him. And I'm going to continue to take this over. I think it's a good bet. I think his line should be you know, like 34 and a half, 35 and a half. So this is one that I do like a lot. I'm going right back to it over 30 and a half PRA for Drew Holiday. And then second prop I like is a points prop going to uh, a star player, which you know normally taking points props on star players is not, the, not something I do too often just because those are pretty efficient lines. But this line does feel a little bit too low. I like taking over 25 and a half uh, points for Steph Curry. So this is a number that Steph Curry has hit in four out of his last five games. He did come up short in game one of, of the series on Sunday. He only finished with 24 points, but he didn't shoot the ball you know, too well last game. I think he shot eight for 20, if I remember correctly. Let me see if I can pull it up. Yeah, eight for 20 last game for Steph. He did shoot five for 12 from three, but his usage you know, last game wasn't as high as it normally is just because Jordan Poole went absolutely nuts last game. Jordan Poole had a super high, high usage rate. Uh, Jordan Poole actually led the team in usage last game. Um, he had a 26.6% usage rate. Clay actually had a higher usage rate than Steph last game, 25.6%, which is normally something we don't see because if you look at the usage so far in the playoffs, Steph has led the team in usage by a wide margin. He's had a 31.8% usage rate in the playoffs. Uh, during the regular seasons, as you, as you would expect, Steph led the team in usage, 30.3% usage rate, averaging over 26 points per 36. It just so happened to be the Jordan Poole show last game. Is it going to be the Jordan Poole show tonight? I mean, I guess it could. Jordan Poole's a great player, and he could have a great game once again. But I think most nights, you know, Steph is going to be the guy that leads the team in usage. We know the minutes are going to be massive for him. He played 37 minutes last game. I think this is definitely a better matchup against Memphis. I think this this series will be played at a faster pace than that Denver series was. Uh, Memphis, we know, likes to push the pace. Last game was fairly high scoring, uh, 117 to 116. I think I think in this series, we're going to see some high scoring games. It should be, you know, we should see some close games every night as well. And Steph should be playing 38, 40 minutes a night in the playoffs. 25 and a half points does feel a little bit too low for him. I know this is right around his season average, but, you know, in the playoffs, you've got to factor in that the, these guys are playing, you know, more minutes. They're going to be pushed more. Uh, you know, starters are going to be leaned on heavily. Star players are going to have to do more offensively. And I expect Steph to have a big role every single night in the playoffs. I think 26 points for him is something he can easily achieve. And one thing worth noting is that, you know, Draymond obviously got ejected last game. That actually kind of hurts Steph. You know, you kind of want Draymond out there. Draymond is a very good facilitator. Draymond's very good at setting up Steph for, for three-pointers, just getting him the ball in general. Maybe that was the reason that Steph didn't have as good of a, a game last game. I'm not sure how many points he scored like in the first half compared to the second half. But you know, Draymond getting ejected last game, I think, was actually kind of bad for Steph. Regardless, though, Steph came up just short last game. I think he goes over today. I like over 25 and a half points for Steph Curry as our second pick for today. And then our third and final pick is going to be a rebound prop. This is one that I also like quite a bit. Taking over seven and a half rebounds for Robert Williams. So Robert Williams last game. Did not play a ton of minutes. He only played 22 minutes, but he did still go over his rebound prop. Um, he finished with eight rebounds. And it is worth noting that Robert Williams supposedly last game was not on a minutes limit. Now, he only played 22 minutes. So clearly, you know, I don't know if coming into that game, if they were planning on him playing 22 minutes, but I looked at the rotations. 
He did pick up his fourth foul pretty early on in the fourth quarter. So Rob Williams played in the first quarter. He played about seven minutes in the first quarter, and then he subbed out. I uh, subbed back in in the second quarter with about nine minutes left. He played about six minutes in the second quarter and then subbed out again. So in the first half, he played about 13 minutes. So he was on pace for about you know, 26, 27 minutes. But then in the in the third quarter, you know, played a pretty much a normal rotation, played six minutes in the third quarter, subbed out. He did start the fourth quarter, but worth noting in the fourth quarter, he played three minutes in the fourth quarter and he picked up two fouls in those in that time frame. So did they sit him because of the fouls? It's possible. Um, he did get subbed out pretty early. He only played about three minutes before subbing out. So he might have lost out on a few minutes because he picked up his fourth foul pretty early on in the fourth quarter. Um, he finished with 22 minutes, though. He did still have, again, he did still have eight rebounds in those 22 minutes. And like I said, it was reported that he was not on a minute's limit last game. He was good to go. He did start last game. I'm expecting him to start once again. I'm guessing, you know, he's going to be full go. Does Robert Williams play 36 minutes today? Probably not. But I think he plays more than 22, uh, more than the 22 that he played last game. And you look at his rebounding numbers this year. I mean, when, when he's on the floor, he's going to grab boards. He's led the team in total rebounds per 36, averaging a, over 11 and a half rebounds per 36 this season. He's got the highest rebound percentage on the team, 17.2% total rebound percentage. And even last game, you can look at the rebound chances. He had the second most rebound chances, 14 rebound chances in only 22 minutes. You know, worth noting, Al Horford had 15 rebound chances, but Al Horford played 36 minutes. Uh, J Jalen Brown had 13 rebound chances, but he played 38 minutes. Robert Williams had the second most rebound chances on the team while only playing 22 minutes. Imagine if he gets like 28 minutes today. He's probably getting double-digit boards, and you know, on the season, he's averaged over nine rebounds per game. This line is pretty much set for him to be limited, and you know, I don't think he plays just 22 minutes again. I think he plays like you know, mid to high 20s. Like I said, you know, it was reported that he wasn't limited last game. I don't think he's playing like 36 minutes today, but I think he's getting more than 22. And if he plays 24, 25 minutes with how good of a rebounder he is, he's led the team in rebound percentage this season. I like his chances of getting eight rebounds. I mean, this is this is like two two rebounds below his season average. His season average is nine. He averages nine and a half rebounds per game on the season. I just think this line is way too low, especially especially as Robert Williams continues to play more minutes, which he should, you know, as he gets more healthy. He's going to easily grab eight or more rebounds when he's playing, you know, over 22, 24 minutes. So I like this one a lot. It honestly might be my favorite of the three plays for today, but uh, over seven and a half Robert Williams is for, or over seven and a half rebounds for Robert Williams for sure. One of my favorite plays today. But yeah, these are three plays I do like at first look, guys, over 30 and a half PRA for Drew Holiday, over uh, 25 and a half points for Steph Curry and over seven and a half rebounds for Robert Williams. Again, if I had to rank these plays, like I said, I think Robert Williams, that one is my favorite. So I like that one first. Probably Drew second and then Steph third. But what I, what I usually do is I'm going to have all these guys in one entry regardless. And I will have these guys mixed into some uh, uh, some other entries as well. I do give out additional prospects plays over on Patreon. So if you guys want to check those out, I do provide those over on Patreon. What I do is I take my three uh, the three free, uh, free plays I gave out in this video. I take my Patreon plays. It's usually about four or five additional plays I give over there. I combine them all to, into one. And I just run a bunch of different entries, kind of mixing and matching my Patreon plays and my, my, my free plays. So I'll have a, a, a three-pick entry with these three guys. I'll also have these picks and some other entries as well. Uh, but I do like these three plays quite a bit. These were the three that stood out to me the most at kind of, you know, taking a first look at this uh, at this board on a Monday night. But that's what I got for today, guys. I appreciate you watching this video as always. I hope you did enjoy. I hope you, you know, it helped you. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Um, if you're new to Prize Picks, forgot to mention this, you can sign up with my promo code, promo code NOAA. Uh, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100 when you do sign up with my promo code. But yeah, good luck tonight, guys. I appreciate you watching this video. As always, I hope it helped. Hope you enjoyed. We will see you in the next one. Peace.